Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you how to screen record and edit inside Wondershare from Melora 10. If you're unfamiliar with Filmora 10, this is one of the easiest video editing programs out there to learn. It has a lot of features so you can make high quality videos, especially with this new edition of Filmora 10. Now I'll put a link down below so you can download it and test it for free, but just to let you know, it's not a free program. And if you do purchase it, that is an affiliate link. I'll also put a link down to my full tutorial on Filmora 10 down below so you can see all the great things that you can do inside of it. But let's get started with this tutorial today on how to record your PC screen. Uh, and it's a quite a simple process and we can go through and edit it too. All right, so I already have Filmora 10 opened here. I don't have anything in my tracks down below, so but we're gonna record a little bit of screen here, uh, and then, then we'll have some to, to edit. But to go to it, if I just hit record, to click on the drop down up here, you see the options we can record from webcam. If you only want the webcam going, record PC screen, and this is what I want. And you have the choice, you can record with the webcam at the same time and record voiceover. So if I go ahead, I'm just gonna click record PC screen. You're gonna see Filmora 10 drop down, and then you're gonna get the settings for the uh, Filmora 10 recording here to pop open here. So uh, right away you notice that uh, you can see me on here. I'm just gonna move this around and I'm gonna show you the settings. Uh, this is gonna be on the screen so I can move this to wherever I want and I can size it also. So you can place it uh, where you want. You can see I have the green screen behind me and that's what I use in my videos, but it won't actually work inside this Filmora 10 the same way that I use it inside Camtasia and that's how I make my videos. Uh, but uh, so if we go through, I'm just gonna drop down in the settings. You can pick what screen size. So if I, I'm on full screen right now and I'm gonna leave it on full screen, but I could go custom or a target window. I can pick what speakers I want, I, what microphone I'm gonna use, and that's the one I'm gonna use. So when I'm ready, I'm just gonna hit uh, the uh, record button. I'm not gonna do that quite yet. This, I have dual monitors. So if I wanted to record the other screen, I could select, just click this button. This will show me where I save it to, so where the file will be saved to. If I click on it and open it up, I can choose a different place if I wanted to. Your frame rate, frame. Uh, I'm gonna leave this at 25 frames per second, but you can adjust it if you want. Quality, better, I'll leave it at there. So you can actually record timer, so maybe there's a certain length that you wanna record uh, for, you could put it in here. Uh, show mouse clicks on recording. So uh, this is where every time I click, it's gonna just show where I'm clicking and I'm gonna have it in red and play mouse click sound and you have an option for that. I'll leave that on. Hotkeys are important to remember. Those are your shortcuts. So uh, once I start this, if I wanna stop or if I wanna pause it, I could hit F10 uh, and then I could resume it by hitting F10 again. If I wanted to actually stop the recording, I could hit F9 so I can start and stop it that way too. Camera, I could drop down, choose the different cameras. I'm just gonna leave it for this one here um, on for this recording. So I'm all ready to go. I'm actually gonna open up uh, my Filmora again, and I will say I'm recording uh, this. So I'm gonna bring in some media in here and I'll record it. So here we go. I'm recording in three, all right, so we're recording. I'm just gonna bring in some more media into Filmora 10, and I'm gonna bring in this intro I have right here. So it's gonna import the intro in, and then at this point, I can drag it down into one of my tracks, and then I can actually match this to media or keep the projects. I'm just gonna keep the project setting at 25 seconds. And then maybe I wanna adjust the, the speed of this clip. If I right click on it, I'm just gonna to go to uh, go up and I'm gonna to go to speed and duration. And I'm just gonna quickly adjust the speed so it plays quicker here. Not that quick, a little bit more. And just for that. Okay, so it's about three seconds. And that's my first recording here that I've done inside Filmora 10. Uh, I'm gonna hit my F9 key to stop it. And you can see that it pops open here and I'm uh, gonna just stop it like that. 
So I've closed down my screen recorder now. I could open up again and keep recording more clips and you can see the one clip is right here, but I could keep going and doing maybe all at once or maybe you like to record uh, one at a time and then do editing. But I'm just gonna show you from here. This was what I brought in in the example when I was screen recording, when I brought in media. So you can do that inside here, bring other video in. I'm gonna add this to my timeline. I could just drag it down or I hit this little plus and it's going to go where I had my playhead. This red thing is the playhead and I had it back here. So that's why it was placed back here. If I drag my playhead, bring it over, you can see in the preview, all the things that I just recorded. I could hit the play. The projects, I'm just gonna keep the project setting at 25. So up there, you can see that it's been recorded. So let's get into some editing here, some quick trimming. And this is what I like about using Filmora uh, with this versus some of the other screen recorders. So maybe there's something at the beginning I don't want. So if I was uh, hitting play, recording, I'm just gonna bring in some. So maybe I didn't want that first little bit. I could just, hover over the beginning and click and drag it. So I've just trimmed it some and I could do the same thing to the end. So maybe I could watch it. Uh, I'm gonna hit my F9. So maybe I didn't wanna be that F9 in there. I could go to the be end and trim back like this. And so that would be gone. I can actually just drag it back. If you drag too much, don't worry. You can drag the other way and put it back too. The other thing I can do with this playhead, I could bring it to a certain part. I could just click the scissors here and now I've split the clip. I haven't deleted anything, but I could make a split and move it around if I wanted to. If I maybe wanted to show, save it for later and put it, or maybe I wanted that to be the beginning. I could just drag it, change the order of the clips here too. Now, maybe there's a chunk in the middle I don't want. If I hit my scissors again, now I have this chunk here that I could drag and move to a different place. Maybe I want it at the end or I can just delete it. So now though, I could just squeeze my clips together and get rid of the gap and it would just play through it without it. So this would be a little bit Speed of a chunk. Uh, go up and I'm going right between the two, but I've taken out a chunk. All right, so that's your basic editing, your trimming and cutting that you can do. But let's say if I wanted to zoom up on uh, something. So in what I do, I zoom up on different things all the time. Maybe I want to zoom up on this window here. So what I can do, I'm just going to make a quick edit and this is the crop tool here. So if I hit the crop tool, watch what happens. This comes up and I can adjust this very quickly. I can move it. I want to focus more on this. Hit OK. Now I'm just going to drag back my playhead and hit play. And I'm just gonna quickly adjust. Notice how it just jumped and then I can zoom up on it. So maybe you didn't want that jump. What you can do is we have transitions over here. So the transitions, and there's lots of them. I'm just gonna use the simple dissolve. I could drag it down in between the two and I can hit play and I'm just gonna quickly and I have a transition the speed so too. Make sure if you wanna learn more about all these things, check out that tutorial I have. I kinda of dive a little deeper into how to do all these things, but I'm just trying to show you the highlights if you're screen recording all the things that you can add. Now, if I go up to titles, titles are an important thing. You could quickly add a title on top of your track. So if I drag it onto the video too, and then I drag, I'll drag my playhead so now I've added a title and, and I'm going to bring in this pop up there. It's nicely animated. If I go ahead and just double click on this, this is where I can be writing more things. I can be changing in here. I can, uh, if you notice as I take change, it puts it in here. I could double click in here if I wanted to write, uh, you know, write what I want. Whoops, right in here. And if I go ahead and just play back here, I'll just drag my playhead back. and and I'm gonna bring in this in. So you can see very quickly how it changes. Double click, I can change text color, I can have, uh, I'll change my presets, my animation, how it moves. You can go through and take a look at all these things. I just wanted to point out a couple other things. We do have elements uh, in here. So the elephant, elements, not elephants. I can drag things down from here and if I wanted to Match bring out something media or with keep the product exclamation marks. But then again, double click on it. I can size it. I can move it to a different place and it's still gonna keep the animation here. 
So I'll just hit play, match this to media or keep the project. Up. So very quick, that's what I like with Filmora, just drag down. Same thing with audio, maybe you want a little bit of music in here. So if I have audio and if I just, let's say drag this one down or hit the plus, uh, I'm gonna move back to the beginning. This drags it all the way back here. It put it in here because that's where my playhead was. So I'm just gonna drag it back to the beginning. If I hit play here now, more media into so I get a little music but it's too loud I could drag this down here and you can see how it's adjusted if I hit play again the Filmora 10 and it's a, little, it's a little quieter but I could keep adjusting if I double click on it I could go through and do some more things right through here again take a look at the tutorial to get more about this I can still edit my uh, audio just like any of the other ones I could cl uh, clip it cut it, I could drag from the ends here, uh, just like I did with the video, what I showed you. So you could go back, you know, and record more video, record more of your screen recordings and put it in. You have this long video all edited with all these effects inside Filmora 10. When you're all done, what you would do is hit export. So you hit export and you're gonna get a lot of choices where you wanna export it to. If you wanna go right to YouTube, you could give it a title or sign into YouTube with your credentials and it will upload it right to your YouTube channel and you can give the title and everything here. You could put it on your local, on your computer, depending if you what you want, MP4, or AVI, you pick what you want and when you get everything named and put in the right place, just hit export on it. But you can see all the different options. So this was a little walkthrough of how you can screen capture inside Filmora 10 and how you can edit your videos to get them great looking and then exporting them to wherever you want. So I hope you liked this tutorial here today. Thanks for watching this time on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.